you know, I've been asking the other players just about last week and how that may have affected you and, and just the way this team reacts this week. Will you take anything positive out of last week and be able to use it this week? Uh, I think we'll take a lot positive. I mean, we took a punch in the mouth, but that just gives us so much to learn against a good team like that and makes us just that much better. It seemed like that's what happened to you guys when Union County beat you guys. You came back, you played a Lincoln team and really put it to them. Is is this kind of a learning experience still this late in the season for you guys to know you're going to use it from game in, game out the rest of the way? Uh, yeah, I think every game's a learning experience, whether we win or lose. Um, I think through every game, we just got to take something away from each game and get better on that. This is a this is a tough week though. I mean, bottom line is you got some injuries. You've got homecoming. You got a Winchester team that won last week. It, it seems like in some respects it might be kind of a perfect storm for them. How do you keep this thing from making sure that it doesn't roll their way? Uh, you know, I think we're going to stay focused all week through practice. We're focusing a little bit on you know getting a little healthy. We're doing things to prevent injuries. And although the people that are out, you know, they're big. They're big players, but. I think we'll be okay. We got people that are going to step up and do their job. Yeah. What do you What do you advice do you give those guys that have to be the next man up? Because not that they, they they don't get playing time behind a Cody Swim and those guys, but they don't get as many reps. Well, how do you help them out? Uh, I think they just got to play confident and do what they've been taught. Yeah. Why well, talk about Winchester if you don't mind? As I said, they they put up 50 on the board last week against Try, and I think that kind of raised some eyebrows for a lot of people. That anytime you put 50 on anyone. What is it about that offense that you guys look at and say, boy, we better make sure we're on our keys this week or they could hit off some big plays? Uh, I think it's their dynamic running ability. They have a lot of different sets where they can run out of and all their different running backs. I mean, they have two really good running backs that have some good speed to them. Does, does coach, or the coaching staff emphasize a lot of that this week to really stay on your keys? Is that maybe the biggest thing is don't get fooled by the fakes and things they do? Uh, yeah, we just got to stay on our keys, and they're just having us read you know, where they're going and kind of what we need to look for. Okay, from an offensive standpoint, what can you guys do against – what do you see on their defense that you guys may be to exploit? Are you going to try to run more? Are you going to try to balance it out more this week? Uh, I'm not sure. We haven't really – I haven't really looked at it that much, but – I think we're just going to stay to what we do the best and spread it out. Yeah. All right, talk about another aspect is, too, you, you guys are right there in the conference race still. So Friday night's a loss. I understand nobody likes to lose, but you're still right there. That has to make you guys feel good that you're in the hunt still. Uh, yeah, we'd love to win conference, and that's our goal. We're going to try to win these next three games and finish out the season strong.